once again, I want to welcome you this wonderful afternoon on our news update. And most importantly, we are reporting live here at Tifeco TV as well. For those that join us right now as well, you're welcome to our wonderful news update as well. Africa's today, you know, we are going to actually relate it to some issues that are actually going on right now in the world, right? Uh, most of us are more familiar uh, with uh, some of the updates in different social media news and um, BBC, CNN and all. But today we're going to bring it more closer to you for those that are not really have no uh, opportunity as well to relate to the other big uh, social uh, news up there as well so I just want to break it down to everybody you know now we are having a very intensive uh, financial crisis not only in Africa I'm talking about all over Europe and also America as well there's a lot of prices of things that have actually gone up as well and this actually uh, affected as well we understand the crisis that actually going on between um, Russia and Ukraine as well but the war is getting more intensive as well like people are finding very difficult to really understand what is actually going wrong what is really conspire as well and why is the war uh, still until now, despite all the sanctions that the EU and also the European Union and also the awesome uh, NATO has actually placed on Russia, but uh, it's like the sanction is not actually affecting them. But here I will want to give you some breakdown. I know most of us might not really understand what is going on. And other side, people cited Russia, other side, people cited, yeah, what they call it, uh, uh, Ukraine. But the only thing that I really understand here is just that the issue that is going on right here, I'm so sorry for the citizen of Ukraine as well. It's probably things that uh, you cannot really be it as well. But um, most of them should actually look up to their leader, that is Silesi. He's been one of the issues that have actually called these damages in the country of uh, Ukraine as well. So this is a summary report you can actually get that on international news as well. Now let's bring it back home right now. Sorry if you join us right now. You are also welcome to IFECOT TV. For those that are meeting me for the first time, as you all know, I go by now, so you know the steel of the wheel. That's why you can actually call me Mr. Efeko. I always tell you guys, it just should be a great opportunity for you to try to link up to all our uh, social media and those so that you can actually get some more information and some of the good update and special one and also some of the new update and what is actually going on right now in the world. And most especially now, you know, uh, Nigeria are actually preparing for their presidential election that will be coming up on the 25th of this very month of February as well. And there's a lot of intention, intensive of a lot of uh, issues going on right now as well. First and foremost, today we want to talk about uh, exchanging of money as well. You know, Nigerian government just decided to change money. The process has been for a very long time, it started since 2022. But finally, 2020. Three, they actually um, start the full process of changing money and a lot of money. Not that they change money, but just they change the color of uh, Naira as well. So um, the issue that is going on right now is just that people find it very difficult to get their their, their physical cash. Well, after they change money, a lot of people are actually going to bank as well to to convert their money and those people that have the money in the bank like you have million in the bank it's always been a problem for you to withdraw your money now in your own country and i find out i find out that this should be one of the failure of the government uh, definitely should be one of the failure of the government because i can't see any reason why when people are out to change money or to take back your money definitely it has to be a kind of chaos and things that will actually warrant to uh, pro protesting in the country I believe that should be some of the lack part of the government and also and then uh, with our major investigation as well we're able to link link up to some to some partnership over there in Nigeria as well to really know what really conspired why is that money is not circulating right now so why is that people find video because to get their um, cash, uh, their physical cash from their bank. Yes, I just got some information that yes, now because of most of the bank manager, most of the bank executive, they are using this medium as well to actually create a very great interest in themselves Well, they are selling the money to the big people. But for the poor people, it's probably very hard for you to get your money. And this part, you don't actually get a kind of hand on the government, just blaming the government over these issues. Well, this should be the fault of the, the banking system as well. The banking system is probably corrupted. They have corrupt the banking system. So the banking system right now, they are using this medium as well to cash a lot of funds for themselves. Well, because now imagine you want to get 100,000 Naira, you have to pay 150,000 Naira to get your money. It's not like you are not giving five, almost 50,000 Naira 
to get your own hundred thousand like you have like one million in your account so the more you collect call a hundred thousand today yes you're going to pay fifty thousand interest i believe this should be one of the bad failure of the government as well and I, I want to please with the nigerian because i got information i got a video that most money has been spared somewhere they pack it somewhere most of the bank officials they pack money somewhere and they use it to make more business because the more you collect the money the more they take interest from your money and it's quite very very difficult right now i don't know because maybe we want to start spending other foreign currency in nigeria as well and also link up to the politics as well you know this is the period that a lot of uh, campaign has been going on right now and you no know, pdp apc and also labor party as well i've always been on ground as well try to do their things as well for the coming potential election that will be taking place on the 25th of this month but i don't know why this thing happened at this time i believe it should be a very big slap to the government section as well now should be a very big slap to the banking system as well i believe that this thing should be regulated very fast as possible for the people that stays outside the country and most time most of these politicians travel outside the world and see how the system is actually going on and most of how their network has been operating here in europe as well and also other part of the country as well but the only problem i have is just that when they return back home they find it very difficult to exhibit most of this thing that they actually see out there each time they travel out as well here in abroad i believe that uh, changing money or changing call of money you will not you will not even know it's just every process will still go on normally like you want to get your money only thing that maybe you want to go and get money surprise that you see having you see yourself with another cash not like creating awareness now they want to change you have to take your own money for bound to go and uh, change the money no it's not like that the system is just that every process go normally without not affecting anybody without affecting anyone business we're not affecting anybody uh, private life as well but i don't know how the issue is actually going on right now that will bring a lot of tension anything can happen through this process because a lot of people need money their money for them to be able to uh, cater for their normal needs as well yeah more report is actually coming through our uh, well on our number program here live here difficulty as well for those that have been part and part of these shows as well i just want you to try to drop your comment below as well and if you find any solution as well uh, you can actually uh, give us some feedback as well and also I always tell you guys that our 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 platform is quite open and actually we have a private number like if you have any video some trimming video when it comes to this coming um, uh, presidential election and campaign and the crisis that is actually going on right now in Nigeria as well. You can actually send the video, a very short video of two minutes video down to our uh, personal mobile line number as well. And then, yes, you can actually have opportunity as well to talk with our management as well. If the video, oh, we need to pay over it as well, you can actually, you can actually do that also. And also, we are also praying for the peace as well, I believe by 2023 as we are still on the month of uh, February as well I believe by the end of February as well especially for the coming presidential election as well we're able to get a very good massive great results as well and also don't forget about don't forget that your PVZ is your key as we are all enhanced for the coming election as well I believe that all the you should do your best and possible as well to make sure that you get your PVZ and other things that is very important as well make sure you vote for your candidate I tell you that I cannot really uh, tell you this one or in, uh, this one might be the best one for our country this time but I believe with the look of things where well, you can actually make your personal decision as well and take a step that's going to transform a lot of things in your life and also the life of our future coming youth as well and our children is very, very important as well so I want to use the opportunity as well to wish a very warm happy Sunday happy weekend as well we hope the next week is going to be a very great time as well and whatever things that you hope for for this coming week as well I hope he will surely come to pass as well don't forget follow us on all social media and do like comment and also share it to other people to enjoy what you're enjoying as well so right now I want to sign out here don't forget Go by now, as you know, I'm the steel of the wheel, and also you can actually call me Mr. Ifeko. But before I leave right now, I just want to drop uh, this video because I want you to take time as well to watch this particular video I'm about to drop right now as well. And when you watch this video, it will tell you that, yes, we are living on the flood of the world, but people that work underground will really understand what is going on right now in the world. For the wise people will only understand that, yeah, there's a time for everything, and I believe that there should be a time for us to actually take our own personal action as well and make a change in your own personal life and also make a change in your society. Because if you don't do that now, 
man, it's going to be too late for a lot of people as well. I hope that it will not be too late for you as well to make this great decision as well. This is one of my advice that I just want to pass across to everybody right there that is watching me right now. And here we are going to say bye for now. Catch you again same time, same session next week on our wonderful program live here. More information on the politics and also what is going on around the globe as well. Yes, hope so well that uh, I'll see you again next period. We come on live all our wonderful programs. Well, have a very great blessed day and have a nice day. Sign out here from Revego TV. Bye for now. Ciao, ciao.